Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers and we are finally playing Naya. I know a lot of uh, you guys have been requesting I play the Naya build, uh, so we're finally doing it. I finally got the opportunity to purchase some of the other cards I needed, which I didn't need many. I thought I needed more, but turns out I didn't really need that much. Uh, so we got the build going. This is my version of the build. Uh, pretty similar to a lot of versions out there, honestly, but... Uh, I have some exclusions and inclusions that I've put in of my own, uh, uh, my own ideas. So, uh, this is the list, uh, as it stands right now, and I haven't tested it out or anything yet, so I'll just go over the list really quick with you guys. Uh, we got all the classics still, uh, Naya, we're gonna be playing three colors, uh, biggest additions, um, well, I'll just go over, we got four plated, four sidewinder, four sinew, um, all the basics for Viverlint, for Muscle, for Predatory, uh, we've got four Winding Way, and we've also got three Lead the Stampede, we're going all creatures here, we've got 33 in the deck, so an extra one of these refill cards is, is necessary, uh, might even go to four on this, I don't know, but I think three's alright, and then the four Winding Way should be fine. As far as, uh, new additions, we've got the Gem Hide Sliver. Uh, this is going to allow us to add one mana of any color. All slivers will have this tap and add one mana of any color. So this will allow us to really dump our hand really fast and efficiently. Um, you know, by turn four, turn three or whatnot, we can drop a couple things. Even if we're a little stuck on mana, this can help us out. Just keep building our board uh, especially fast. Uh, with that being said, we want to empty our hand pretty fast because we have the inclusion of Blade Black blade back sliver which we all know how this works uh we've seen it clutch up before it's got the hellbent uh, hellbent if we have no cards in hand we can start tapping our creatures and dealing one damage to our opponent uh so as long as we got an empty hand we can start just pinging our opponent pretty fast and efficiently especially if we got a lot of creatures out one hunter sliver uh just for some like pseudo removal uh just one of them in the deck is fine i think uh, it'll be good against matchups where we need to just force some blocks and get things off the field. And most lists don't have Striking Sliver, but I threw one of in the deck because I do like the first strike. It allows us to swing in for damage, um, and typically our opponents won't be blocking if we got the first strike, so it allows us to really get in for quick damage if we have it out. So just a one of this one, one of the Hunter. We'll see how it works out. We can always fiddle around with it. Um... We've got, for our mana base, we got 20 lands, we got one mountain, three blossoming sands, six forests, six plains, and then we got ash barrens, which will allow us to cycle our land to find uh, whichever land we need. Um, so, a little bit of mana fixing there to make sure we're always on the right track here. As far as sideboard, uh, I'm sure there's lots you can do with the sideboard now that we're playing three colors. This is what I have set up right now, just some basics, two relics, two natural states, um, one more Hunter Sliver in case we need to just bring in an extra one to, you know, increase our chances of pulling into it if we want to get some pseudo removal. Uh, Flaring Pain for the Tron matchups, Electricery, good for like the fairy decks, some of the control decks that are running a lot of the fairies and stuff. Uh, Pyroblast, again, a lot of blue out there, so I think it's, uh, pretty good to have the counter target spell or destroy target permanent if it's blue. Uh, Hollow, uh, been in the sideboard before. And then a new addition here would be Fireball. This is kind of like our surprise card. Allows us to pay X and one red. Uh, and then it costs uh, one more for each target beyond the first, which pretty much I think we'll just be using as a finish finisher to target our opponent. Uh, but it'll, it'll deal uh, X damage divided evenly, rounded down among any number of targets. So we're, the plan is, you know, we're dumping out a ton of creatures. We got the blade back. We got the gem hide we can just use the gem hide and its abilities to just tap all our creatures and all our mana to pay for a really nasty fireball um, for whatever we need for lethal basically so uh, just in the sideboard two of them uh, let's see did I miss anything electricery no so it's a pretty basic sideboard um, a lot of red in the sideboard uh, but I think they're necessary red cards we'll see how it goes uh, but yeah you know it's Christmas week I finally got my butt around to playing some Naya Sliver, so um, yeah, let's go find a match and see how we do. All right, we found ourselves a match. Uh, we didn't win the die roll, so let's just see what kind of a hand we can get. Um, all right, this is this is a keepable hand because we can cycle with the Ash Barons and we can start getting things going. So we'll keep. All 
And we're up against uh, some interesting stuff here. We'll pass. Do it at the end of their turn. Grab ourselves some white mana. They're just going to cycle two. Uh, we'll grab a planes. I actually should have... Well, that's fine, actually. No, this is fine. All right, let's start out with just dropping our one drops, I think. Or actually, you know what? No, we're going to start with the gem hide. We're going to start getting our mana cranking. If we draw into another land, we'll be able to really put some stuff down. Thraben. If my voice sounds a little crackly, I'm kind of losing it a little bit. This cold weather, man, has been uh, hitting, me, hitting me pretty nasty. So, All right, so now I think we want to... I want to drop a Viverlance and a Lord, is what I'm thinking. There we go. Let's see how we can just, we're just creating so much mana from this, we can just keep dropping all our stuff. Pretty nice, pretty nice. My mind may be changing on Gem Hide Sliver, depending on how these games go. Scred is a hard matchup, though. It can be, at least. They're just comboing a little bit here, so it's not too crazy. Other land is perfectly fine, so we can just, like, empty our hand if we want this turn. And in fact, I may even play our Hunter... Then play out a Lord. Yeah, let's play out a Lord. And uh, we'll just play out everything. Sure. We'll, we'll just take a turn off, play out everything. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. They got quite a board to deal with, and we can refill with Winding Way. We can start swinging in for some really nasty stuff next turn. I could have maybe swung in uh, last turn to start provoking some stuff, but uh, just setting up a board like this uh, is just going to be excellent for next turn. So they're going to be in rough shape. So let's refill really quick. Let's see what we can get. Just a plated. That uh, gets us out of range of like a lightning bolt or something. So if they want to take something out, they should. They're not gonna. Time to swing. And we can just start provoking stuff. So uh, let's move this down. Make that get provoked. Yep, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's a good start. That's a good start for Naya. Alright, so... What do we want in this matchup here? Hmm. Could just bring it. I, I kind of just want to run it back, honestly. If we can steamroll our opponent like we did last game, we might be in really good shape. Um, could bring in a fireball. I just want to run it back. Let's just. I want to just play around with the deck and run the the main deck as it is for a second, anyways. I don't think we have anything like super crazy important to bring in from the sideboard against Scred, so I think uh, I think it's fine. It's good hand. It's good hand. Keep it. That gem hide though. That was a nice gem hide. All right, let's play what we can play. Start out with our Viverlance. Pass it back. Again, they're just setting up, which is fine. Gives us some opportunities to set up as well. Mm -mm -mm. Galvanic Blast, sure. That's fine. They're scared of that poison. It's understandable. 
Let my sinew resolve, please. Pass. Man, two damage. Yeah, they're not letting my board get big this time. That's for sure. Got an Ash Baron, so that's actually pretty good. It'll we'll give us some use of our mana. We can pull out a, a mountain if we need to. Um, maybe we'll just Winding Way. Mm. We'll, we'll put down a Lord. We'll put down a Lord. We'll see what happens. If they just had a handful of removal, then so be it, you know. They already played two removal on our guys, so at some point, they gotta run out. Holding stuff up. Let's get ourselves our mountain. Just want to set up for playing our blade back. Let's try to get out our plated. Muscle. See if they allow it. They do. Swing in for three. All right. We can empty... Well, we can't really empty our hand unless we completely whiff on the winding way. They're getting their life gain going. Good for them. What are we playing here? Battle Screech. All right. Yep. Fair enough. Not super worried about that. All right. So... Let's go winding way first. Not quite ready to play the blade back yet, so oh, that's fine. They may be conceding soon. They're not dead yet. They can chump block a little bit. They can flash back the battle screech, but Are they taking it. Oh, they're taking it. They're going to eleven. All right, we're in great shape. Nice slivers. Uh-oh. Is this going to be our go-to get go-to deck now? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how well it runs. So far, so good. We're making uh, pretty mince meat of this scred deck right now. And today is Monday, so tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We're going to have a mill video going. Uh, and then Christmas, we're going to have another one of these Naya. We're going to be playing Naya all week. It's just going to be a Naya week, because I know you guys have been asking for it. So, Naya's going... Going all the way back here. Yeah, they're they're done. They can't do anything. Let's see what our next draw was. Planes, yeah. All right. Well, good game. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're finally playing Naya. Hope you like the deck. Um, if you got any suggestions for it, though, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Always happy to take them. I know I'm pretty slow on responding to uh, any updates or comments you guys have. It takes me a while to, like, get cards and stuff because I'm just a lazy bum but uh hey we finally did it so we're here and if you enjoy it subscribe for more this week and leave a like on the video and we will see you guys in the next one